Moyd vs. the Senate, that uh, Hillary indeed made a very noble and distinguished contribution to this country, not just to media and journalism. And if, if for that matter, the University Senate was uh, inspired first, firstly by the, the lecture that Hillary gave, and secondly by this huge collection of material that was delivered to Moyo University and very willingly and readily agreed to establish this center, which uh, should be able to ensure that uh, Hillary's uh, contributions to this country will live on. Again, maybe just to say something a little bit about this center. Uh, the center has got very noble objectives. Number one, some of which, some of which people have been talking about here. One is that to build a comprehensive collection of the works of Hillary and any other luminaries in this country and in East Africa and of course beyond. Uh, research into the history of the media in East Africa and beyond. Promote excellence in media research promote capacity building among young scholars and researchers in the media industry, contribute to the enrichment of knowledge in media, and uh, finally to manage the Hillary Menno series of annual public lectures. So again, this is a very open um, invitation uh, that uh, we can actually be able to team up with yourselves. I would particularly like to appeal to the Editors Guild and of course the various media houses that are here that we are very ready and willing to work together um, to be able to accomplish this task. I think it's uh, uh, one American activist that in, 19, in, in 2007, his name was Max J. Evans, who wrote that archives belong to the people. In other words, archives are of the people, by the people, and for the people. Archives are of the people, by the people, and for the people. In other words, what he meant by this, of course, was that archives have got a societal role. You know, these materials may have been contributed by individuals, groups of individuals, or institutions, but at the end, these materials belong to the people. So Hillary's collection, uh, in my view, falls within that uh, particular that Hillary has been able to leave behind, of course, Hillary worked with so many other uh, distinguished people who are here, and they have been able to leave behind a collection that uh, very succinctly communicates his uh, reflections uh, and uh, you know, his ideas, his inner spirit, what he thought and what, uh, what values he held at the time, and that uh, these materials should be shared and disseminated to the people of Kenya and, uh, of course, the world over. And in this way, I think Hillary's spirit will live on. So I think with those few remarks, uh, we just like to say that uh, Hillary's, uh, may Hillary's uh, spirit uh, uh, live on and may he rest in eternal peace. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you, Professor.